Hi, welcome back to Level Up. It's been a while, but we're back. And during that time, we've received a lot of great comments and questions about one particular part. At the beginning of this video, we created a carousel with those circular pictures. And today, I would want to show you step by step how it was made. Also, to make it easier for you to follow along, we want to share with you this file. And you can find it on our drive, uh, linked in the description below. Before we start, let's quickly set up PowerPoint to help us format those slides faster. Quick Access Toolbar will help us a lot, but I have to customize it first. So I'll click here and select below the ribbon. And then I will add a line tool, which is under Arrange Tool, then right click on a line and select Add to Quick Access Toolbar. It appeared at the end of the list. And the order here is important, so I will remove this. So right click and select Remove. If you want to learn more about Quick Access Toolbar, check out our other video. Okay, let's start. First, insert five pictures on your slide. It could be more than that. Everything depends on how long your carousel would be. To insert pictures, go to Insert tab and click on Pictures. I already have mine on the slide. Let's change the shape of them to circles. Select all of them, go to Format tab, Crop drop-down list, then Crop to Shape, and within Basic Shapes group, select Oval. Now I have to make sure we have perfect circles and we have to do it one by one. Select first picture, go to Crop drop-down list, Aspect Ratio, and select one by one. I will repeat those steps with all my pictures and maybe just adjust the cropping area a little bit to get the best part of the picture visible. And here a little bit more to the center. Okay, this one is perfect based on the size, but I would just click it again. Now it's time to resize, align and distribute all of those photos. To make it a little bit easier, I would also add those two buttons to my Quick Access Toolbar. Simply right click and select Add to Quick Access Toolbar. Now I will select those two pictures, hold Shift and click on each of them, then change the size to 1.8, then select two other ones and type 2.5, and then the last one, the biggest in the center, will be 3.4. To align and distribute those circles, it would be much easier to have guides. To make them visible, right-click outside of the slide area, then go to Grid and Guides and click on Guides. I will show you the trick how to create a guides that are locked down so you won't move them on the slide. To do that, we have to go to Master Slide. So go to View tab, Slide Master, and then you can add them on a single layout. Just right-click outside select grid and guides and make guides horizontal or vertical or if you want it to appear on all of your layouts go to the main slide master and now i will create horizontal guide and make sure it's set up to 175. small advice if you want to get specific number hold alt key on your keyboard and then when you'll be moving the guide it will move much smoother close the master view and test the guides nice it won't move Let's align our circles. I will first select this one and align it to those guides, top and left. And I'll repeat the same with the right picture. Now select all five images and top align them. And then distribute horizontally. We're going to use align a lot. So to speed up the process even more, I will start using hotkeys. Let me show you how that works. I'll select the picture, press Alt on my keyboard, then underneath each of the tools will appear number. And I have to just follow the path to get to specific tool. I have an align tool on the fourth position, so I'm going to press 4, and then I can press any of those letters to activate each tool. Another small trick to make sure our circles are all perfectly centered on the slide is to select them all, press Ctrl G to group them, and then center align. Now I will create placeholders for the headers above each circle. Let's click and drag to create a placeholder and I'll type header one. I will select the text, 
change the font size to 28 points and center align control e center align with the circle and now i just have to copy it above each of those circles so hold shift and control and click and drag to place it above other pictures and now let's hold shift key and select those two headers and change the font size to 20. also i'll adjust the color to have a little bit darker shade let's say this one and now the other two headers i will modify it to have font size 18 and darker color that part is done i would just adjust a number in the headers to make sure they are different so morph would know how to move them around one more thing we're gonna create on the slide is a text box below the middle circle where we could add specific information about the chapter i'll click and drag to create a box for now i would just insert random text press equal sign lorem open parenthesis one close parenthesis and enter just a little bit so then it's perfectly center aligned with the circle maybe a little bit more okay so we have all elements on the slide but to make sure our left and right circle moves easily on and off the slide i have to create another circle outside of slide area it's important to keep the same order of pictures so i will select those two objects hold shift and click on each and then click and drag to copy them on the left side and then select those two hold shift and control and again copy it to the right side one more thing i want to do that will help us align circles on next slides is to select all those pictures hold shift and control and just click and drag to copy them above the slide that will create reference points for pictures on following slides okay our first slide is done now we have to create four more each slide with different circle in the middle let's duplicate this slide select it on the panel on the left and press ctrl d now all we have to do is select pictures that we have below and move them to the left so then next picture will be in the middle of the slide and now adjust the size and align all the pictures i will select picture underneath the header 4 and change the size to 1.8 and then those two pictures to 2.5 and the last one 3.4 let's align those two circles to the left and this one as well then select five circles in the middle and use hotkeys or simply select a tool to distribute horizontally i will delete this photo and copy this one to this side and center align with the header and now i will adjust the numbers in the headers another option if you have real text in that headers would be to copy paste text into each box or move boxes with circles but that would take much more time because you would have to adjust the color and the size of the text so i'm just simply adjusting the numbers oh one thing i didn't align this circle so i'll select both and first left align and then center align next to make sure this text box will morph from slide to slide i will add a number which will tell more that this is a new box because it contains different text it won't move but it will get fade in and fade out effect now the key point time to apply morph transition go to transitions tab and click on morph Ooh, nice you got some preview but don't forget to adjust the duration to one second to have a faster movement second slide done and three more to go so again duplicate the slide select all photos and move them to the left i would delete this extra photo now resize circles 1.8 2.5 and 3.4 then align left circle and right picture select all five and distribute horizontally and it's also important to align circles with the headers outside of the slide so the movement going outside of the slide will be much smoother and always the same now hold shift and control key then click and drag to copy the picture now i will adjust header numbers three four and five okay we have to also change the number in a text box and it's ready let's do it again duplicate select move to the left delete this one then align 
select the photo and change the size to 1.8, then 2.5, and the middle one to 3.4. Now left align those two pictures and the one on the right. Select all five of them and distribute horizontally. Don't forget to adjust numbers in the headers. I will type 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 2 and 1. And change the number in the text box to 4. Now hold Shift and Control key, then click and drag to copy the picture. And one more slide to go. Let's duplicate the slide one more time. Select pictures and move them to the left. Delete extra one and center align this picture with the header above. Another step, adjusting the size. You know exactly where it's going. 1.8, 2.5 and 3.4. Next, align left this picture and the one on the top. And repeat the same with the picture on the right. Select all five of them and distribute horizontally. And now copy this picture to the side and then update numbers in the headers. It's quite easy, right? After a few of them, you just get in a flow and it's much easier to produce even longer, crazy hair results. Last step, update the number in the text box. And we're done. Great job, guys. Now we have to test it out. Let's go to the first slide and start a slideshow. Everything moves so smoothly. Nice. Yeah, let's check all of them. Perfect. Everything works great, so we can delete those extra pictures on the top. And once we do that, I will run the test again, just to make sure everything is still running well and Morph didn't mess anything up. It looks great to me. If you would like to have a longer animation to go through all the chapters again, select all five slides that we've created and duplicate or simply copy paste. Last adjustment would be to apply Morph Transition to the sixth slide because previously that was our first slide and we didn't apply the transition to it. And adjust the duration to one second. And one more test to see if that transition works well. Start slideshow and go through all the circles. Great! You can also go back and forth Right now our sequence is much longer, so we have more flexibility. Our presentation works well, but I know that sometimes Morph is acting a little bit odd. Here I have a very similar presentation, and trust me, I did all steps the same way, but for some reason it's not morphing the way I wanted it to. See what's happening? Those two, they're just swapping during this transition, and that's not okay. The good thing is that it's really easy to fix. All we have to do is go to that slide and select this problematic picture on the left and apply Exit Animation Disappear and make sure to select With Previous. Let's check if that worked. Great, everything works well now. Once the slide is displayed, animation will play automatically, disappearing this object before the next transition. So Morph would not move it anywhere because technically it doesn't exist there anymore. Okay, that's all for today. If you have any comments or questions, leave them below and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Stay safe and healthy and all the best to all of you guys. Hope to see you next time.